Okay, Jake. So my suspicions were correct. If we look here, let's go to the, the editor here. If we look here at line N0120, we see that um, object G31Z-100 F19 is um, the code that was in fact absent in some places. So what I did, I took Mescal's advice and I took this code and I went through and I copied and pasted the code together properly. Um, none of these constituents right here were entered in properly for the most part. The GOO would be missing on this portion. This portion would be missing altogether, and so would this portion. So I went through and added it in. As you can see, every place I had to do this. This was all omitted. Now, this is just a four-piece um, array. So it's not a lot of parts. And that took a couple minutes to do. Now, if I were wanting to cut 50 of these out at once, for me to have to sit there and splice that code in 50 times would take almost as long as it would just to cut this stuff manual. So there's got to be some way I can patch this in. But um, just to show you that I did get it working, I'm going to go ahead and start a cycle here. I'm going to zero out. And we'll take a look, and we will see that it in fact does engage the pierce height every time so let's take a look Okay, I went ahead and stopped it because I can't use this piece anyway. But as we've seen, not only is it cutting right now, but it seems to be uh, it's doing something completely different now. Before, it was cutting out all the same tool holes. For instance, this hole is set at a different cutting parameter than this outer hole. I'm running slower in here. I'm running 60 inches per minute, where on the outside I'm doing 75. So, and that gives you a nice clean circle. Like I said, initially it was cutting out these inner circles first. And then it was going to these outer circles because they were on a different tool. But me simply editing the code in such a way that I've added in these constituents myself before every MO3 torch command to trigger the torch this blue highlighted section is what I had to add in and I had to appropriately label the numbers of course also um, doing that changed it to where now it's cutting out each individual part so, either way, it worked. It was a pain in the rear. Um, I could possibly save this code now somehow and never have to do this again. But I wanted to cut like 50 of these out. That would have taken a, quite a while. 
you're looking at about uh, 50 minutes. It didn't take me a minute to do every one of those, but um, you know, it can get kind of tedious where you're making mistakes and you got to go back and change these numbers. And I'm not a hacker. I got some techno music, but that's all I got for you, man. If you can help me figure out how to change these parameters, there's some way. And like I said, if these holes are far apart, it will automatically do what I'm trying to get it to do. It's not a problem. Um, when you're doing arrays, when I'm trying to cut a bunch of parts out in an array, using the minimize distortion does not work, as it did in this case. Um, I was able to cut out some plates for this cell right here, this big monster behemoth electrolyzer. Oh, here we go. You could not just do this by putting the drawing in there doing the post processing and then set it forget it it wouldn't work i had to go to the minimum just dis minimize distortion section in the tool path or whatever and make it to where it would cut this hole then go all the way over here and cut this hole then go all the way over here i set a 10 inch parameter limit on it and it would for whatever reason in that scenario force the plasma torch height controller to do the pierce plunge I don't know if that's the proper nomenclature, but uh, I, I ruined quite a few tips trying to hash this out. Um, so I'm halfway there, Jake. I'm just not the, the coder like you, man. I, I can't figure it out. It's like 80 hours later. I gotta give up at some point here. Like I'm one of these people where I just can't stop till it works. I work myself sick at this point. So, I'm calling it a day and a half. By the way, right on, Mescal. You're a damn genius, brother. Once again. <laughs>